I'm from Conley Springs, North Carolina, and I race in the NASCAR Weekly Series. I was six when I started racing. I felt like that's what I wanted to do because I had always watched it and stuff, but I never, I was too young to really realize that's kind of what I wanted to do until I actually did it. And then I realized it was a lot of fun. I can be worrying about it, you know, but as soon as I sit down and I start doing it, it's, I'm not even thinking about it. I just go and do it. That's probably the most fun part for me is just like the adrenaline rush that you get. I mean, I had always watched Lake Model Racing because we live 10 minutes from Hickory. So we used to go there a good bit and watch. So. I always had fun watching it, and I figured you know, it would be a lot of fun to actually do it. You know, I didn't know if I'd ever get to do it, but I always dreamed of doing that, and finally got to. Like, I have to make sure I do good in school to be able to race, so it is hard to keep up with it, but as long as I can keep up, you know, it's usually fine. Most of my friends are from racing anyways. Like, I don't, I have friends from school, but like, I'm not as close with them as I am with people in racing, so it's pretty easy to keep up with those just because, uh, you know, you have something to talk about all the time because you know you all love the same thing. Usually when I win it's you know I'm focused on how I win the next one like I'm not really worried about what I just did you know my dad's helped me a lot with that just staying very humble and just keeping your head down always working for you know what's ahead and not what you're doing right now. I do like the data side of stuff because uh, I like seeing what I do wrong you know just to make me better. I can see like exactly where I need to be better at and that if I'm breaking too late, breaking too early, you know, turning in too soon, you know, not, you know, arcing in enough into the corner or something like that, you know. I like the engineering side of things too, just cause I like knowing how things work and why they work the way they do. I just kind of, you know, show up and do whatever they tell me like to the car, like working on it wise and then, you know, put my suit on just go and I just go drive. When I first started in late models, I didn't know what to expect. I had no clue. Like from my first race, I just, I didn't know. Wasn't too worried about it, you know, the rest of the season until the South Carolina 400 at Florence. That was the last race, and that was the biggest race I'd ever been in. And I really didn't know how that race was gonna play out in any way, because I'd never been in one like that. You know, I'd watched and tried to study as much as I could going into it, but it's just different until you actually get in there and in the moment. One day I would like to end up in the NASCAR Cup Series. I mean, that's, you know, that's everybody's dream, I feel like, that end of racing. But uh, as long as I can be in one of NASCAR's top three series at some point, I think that would be, that would make me happy. And within the next few years, hopefully like ARCA or trucks, you know, something like that. There's nothing in the world that makes me happier than driving a race car. When I got nominated, I was a little surprised because I really didn't know about it. My mom, she, uh, she didn't tell me anything about anybody doing it, so I didn't know about it. But. You know, once I got in the top 30 out of the first 300, I was a little surprised because like, I really didn't know how it was going to go. And then once I got nominated, it was really cool to like know that people actually had voted for me because I really didn't think I was going to make it in just because there's some pre pretty big names on there. And uh, to be one, it was really cool. And when I got told that, I was really surprised that I made it just because like I didn't know that there was that many people that really knew about me, you know, at this point. I think you're just a lot closer to everybody. Like, you know, you go to a racetrack and like everybody sees each other and like there's time to, you know, there's a little bit of time to talk to each other. Like where in other sports like basketball or football or something like that, you know, you show up, you do warm ups or whatever you do and then you play. Like I feel like everybody at a racetrack is part of a family, you know, like everybody talks to each other. Most of the time, everybody likes each other. Stay after it, you know, you can't ever give up. Like, no matter what, you just gotta stay after it. You gotta know that God has a plan for you, whether it's, you know, racing or whatever it is, you just gotta, you know, believe in that and just remember that at all times, because it'll get hard, but that's just what you gotta, you gotta remember it. My name is Landon F. Huffman, and I'm a Hoosier Hero.